Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Transport Fever 2. And Happy New Year. If you've not watched my first video of 2020, 2020, however you like to say this year, um, then hi, welcome. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, now, what you may know is since the last episode of Transport Fever 2, something dramatic has happened. Not only have we entered a brand new decade, that's 2020 as opposed to 2019, um, I have a new computer. Bigger, better, faster, as promised. And, and it means that I can now play and you can see Transport Fever 2 in much better detail, much better graphics. Um, the graphics were pretty good anyway, to be honest, but now they're even better. And I'll just show you what my new settings look like. And they are here. So I can now go from low to high texture, high graphics settings, basically, which is there. Uh, I can't go to very high because I've only got six gigabyte of graphic memory in this new card of mine, which is a GTX 1660, if you're interested. Um, and again, everything else which was previously low or medium or whatever is now pretty much high. So we should see much improved graphics over and above what we had in the first uh, few episodes of this series. Now, what I'm about to say, I'm afraid, may disappoint some of you, may, may be a great relief to some of you. It's a relief to me, to be honest. You may recall in the Bristol uh, map series that we've done so far, I started off very gung-ho, which it really isn't really isn't really like me. That's not how I tend to play. I tend to play more slow and steady and just sort of evolve my, uh, my, my tycoonery, if you will. Um, but I thought I would play it like the real Bristol, as much as I know the real Bristol, that is. And it turned out to be a right mess. And I was losing money hand over fist. And however much money I threw at it, however much I redesigned the routes, I, I sort of made a bit of money. I started to get into profit. But playing on, I realised it was going to be at least 1890, if not even the 1900s before I had any substantial money with which to play and to build the map uh, beyond what I had before. And it meant I was at that point still playing with the original vehicles, the stagecoaches and the tiny little pokey little locomotives and trains that I started out with. Uh, so I wasn't really showing you the game at its best. It was just me struggling to make money. And that's no fun for anybody. So what I've decided to do is go back to the drawing board. We're still going to play the Bristol map because it's Bristol. I just love this place um, and the various other places around Bristol, obviously. Um, so we're going to still play this, this same map, which has its own peculiar challenges, as you noticed, particularly in the area of the Bristol metropolis itself. There's a lot of traffic congestion, lots of towns really close together, and that's always bad when it comes to Transport Fever, either the first game or this new one, Transport Fever 2. So, we're going to crack into it right now, and I'm going to try and play it more like the game wants me to play it. Actually use the game mechanics themselves to design good routes, which make money and grow the towns and cities on the map. So let's get on to it. This is Transport Fever 2 Bristol, the reboot. And we're back right in the map. You may remember this. Nice empty spaces. Well, <laughs> apart from all the towns. Uh, one... one word I will actually add here as well is uh, with this new computer I've got uh, I am using a new version of OBS I had previously been using uh, the old classic version of uh, OBS to record my videos uh, I'm now using the the latest version of the studio which has quite different setup quite different settings and I'm not at all confident I've got them right yet now I'm either going to get rather good graphics, which I hope you can see, um, and enormous file sizes which take hours to render or whatever, or it's going to be a bit rubbish. So you may find that uh, the quality of these videos may vary a little bit uh, over the next few episodes while I get to grips with how to get the best results of, uh, out of this new software. Anyway, so what are we doing? Um, I would still like to focus on Bristol and the surrounding towns for the bulk of the passengers. But I think we do need to pay attention, as I started to in the last episode, uh, to cargo, which means, um, unfortunately, the way the map's set out is there aren't a great many places where you've got good, close sort of um, industry chains. 
where I can connect things together quite nice. Actually, this isn't too bad over here. We've got the stone and the construction materials. Um, Froom, it's not the biggest of places. Actually, none of the places are terribly big. But uh, Westbury, and that would lead up into Bath eventually, but that's a very long way for trucks to go, I think, is Bath. And we've got a food processing plant there, which is nice for a boat. In fact, all three of these towns, Bathwick, Bath, Oldfield Park. Um, but the wheat, the grain is a long way away still, really, certainly in terms of um, stagecoaches. Now, around Bristol itself, the main conurbation, the main urban area, Again, there's some industries scattered around outside, but nothing really close in. Uh, so perhaps this map hasn't been designed. <laughs> and to be honest, I did most of the designing of it. Well, I, I randomised the industry placement. It hasn't worked out in the best way for me. Over in Wales, is that any better? Um, not especially, I think. Actually, we have a, a couple of reasonably good fuel chains somewhere. There's planks. Uh, actually, machines needs both um, planks and steel, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, to do that. Uh, we've got coal and iron, so we... But there's no steel plant, strangely enough, in Wales. Uh, that's a comment on the comment on the modern world, perhaps. I don't know. Um, so we've got this down here, which we used in the last uh, version of this map, or the last playthrough. Um, so this we could make more use of. We've got quite a nice actual oil to fuel connections up here somewhere, I think. Yeah, got these three here. So oil, sorry, well, oil well to crude oil to fuel, which goes into Pilning okay. Again, Pilning's only a small place. Uh, Iron Acton, Frampton Cottrell. That's actually, that's getting better. But they're a bit of a way really for trucks to get to. Um, so most of these, I think, are going to have to wait until we can get trains doing cargo. Uh, anything at the top of the map here? Doesn't really look like it, does it? No. Okay, right. Um, now I do want um, to get my train stations in place, I think, to start with. Which is a risky thing to do because trains are very expensive to run. But we're going to try it anyway. So this is where Bristol Temple Mead is going to go. So we're going to set up some passenger routes around here and we will put some cargo in down on the coast of the map, as it were, down south here and work that out. So let's get to it. Train station, uh, building, there we go, passenger station. Good, we'll take you, we'll take two platforms. We'll keep it fairly small to start with, I think while I'm trying to keep my money or my costs down. And that's quite nice. Uh, straight through. Yeah, let's do it like that, I think. There we go. That's our first passenger station, and we'll put another one here in Canesham. Now, Canesham, I think we could do with a bit of rope to start with, to connect these up. Uh, otherwise, um, if you stick the train station on one of these two roads here, you need a bus, I think, to, to really make sure everyone can get to the train station, which is a bit wasteful. So can we do this? It's not especially cheap, is it? 27. Oh, that's a bit better. That's nice and cheap. What a bit of a dip there, but we can't really help that, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep that like that, I think. 
Okay, we'll put our second train station in there. We'll just have the one platform for Kanjan for the moment. Where can we stick this? Which is reasonably inexpensive. That's good. Uh, the main thing with the, one of the other main problems with the map, apart from the proximity of the towns in, around Bristol, is the hilliness. The contours are not friendly. Okay, we'll place you there. Let's get some tracks in. Uh, actually, we want to go down here, I think. Don't we? What if we did that? I mean, construction not possible. Uh, you're probably right. You don't really want to build over a town, do you? Not this early in the game. No. So let's uh, build you around here. I think. Yeah. I'll come down here. That looks good. And then finally into Bristol there. Well, actually, that's that's not too expensive at all. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. That's quite a nice price, actually. Take that. We'll put some. We'll put double tracking in here. As we certainly will want more trains to come in and out of Bristol uh, buildings. Uh, we want our depot. Uh, yeah, you see, you see there all the. <laughs> expensive landscaping. Uh, actually, it's a bit cheaper this side of the station, isn't it? Actually, I think if we get the tracks, if we get the tracks out first, we can be fairly certain we can get the depot connected. Okay. Okay, we'll put you there, and our depot. 32. Can I get it a bit cheaper then? Let's see if that'll work. Awful bit of track. Have I just wasted money? I probably have. Will you connect to that? No, apparently not. <laughs> Feeling you can connect it to that little bit of spur track that was left, but that's okay, I think. Bring you in there, that's good. And we will double slip you, because I always like to double slip, that's just the way I roll. Okay, now one thing we're doing here, which uh, I didn't do at the start of the map uh, in the previous, uh, previous playthrough, was I put the mods in already, so we've got a number of locomotive, passenger wagon, and other mods uh, already built into the game. Uh, and you can find those by looking on Steam, in my Steam collection. There's a link to that in the description below, of course. And of course, the one thing we've got is UK semaphore signalling, so our signals and our trains are on the right, correct side of the track. And there we go. That's good. And we'll put a signal in there just to show willing. We'll put no more track in there than we absolutely, absolutely, definitely need. Okay, well let's rename this one. Of course it's not St Paul's. It is the world famous Bristol, spelt correctly, Temple Meads. That's fine. And is that Canesham? It is Canesham. Right, so let's get our first route set up. Uh, no, click the button first. There we go. There to there. Bristol Kingsham. Yeah, my, my typing is still rubbish. There we go. Uh, spelt correctly. Okay, we'll put a train on there in a minute. Uh, a couple of things I want to sort out here first. Um, what I'm going to do is keep this bit of road here undeveloped. I want to keep that for myself, I think. I don't want the, the AI to start messing around with that bit of road. So I'll we'll lock this bit here so I don't uh, have to worry about the AI 
building alongside. I don't want it to build alongside the station. It's just, it's just my particular viewpoint, really. That's just what I want. But up on the other side of the station, because we are quite close to St Paul's, so we might as well get people coming in from down there. We want to allow people to get in. Uh, now, this is something that we have added to the game, another funky new mod. Um, this is UK-based sort of platform enhance or station enhancements. So we've got these different styles of canopy and some extra fences and walls. And also the platforms are designed... Oh, we've got waiting rooms as well. I've not played with the waiting rooms. Ooh, let's see. Let's uh, get rid of these canopies here. It's a good job it cost me no money to do that. What does a waiting room look like? Uh, it's like, like sort of a bit of an extra platform. Well, it is a platform, but it's got, yeah, waiting rooms on it. Cool. In different colours. Uh, I think the colours are meant to represent the sort of different um, station or or, net, or railway companies rather. Uh, what's this? Uh, underground. Oh yeah. Okay, we're not going to mess around with this too much. What I want to do here, I think, is just put on. Yeah, just put the canopies on. Uh, which one should we use? The green one. Yeah, issue. Let's use the green one. So we'll just drop you along the centre. There we go. And uh, perhaps some fences. Uh, sit you there. Oh, you're, you're, yeah, I don't like you. You're a very dull looking bit of fence. Brick wall. Now you look too ugly. Some proper fences. There we go. That looks fine. You could put them actually at the back of the. Well, they're two grand a piece. No, we won't spend too much money on those. <laughs> okay. Um, but what I do want, this is what I came here for, to be honest. I'm not quite sure why I've got two steps here. Oh, we can't connect up past the fence. The fences obviously prevent people connecting uh, to the street. Well, that's, that's fair enough, actually. So we'll have one there and one there which means I want to add in some extra road. The thing is, do I want to do it like that? Oh, that's interesting. Obviously changing from the small street to the medium street uh, obviously affects how much. Interesting that the small street Makes extra demands on the uh, landscaping. There you go. Oh, well, that's that's cheaper that way. So we'll do it that way. Okay. Uh, or do I want to put a street in along here? Yeah, I think I might do that actually. Let's put that. Let's not get too carried away. Just a little bit. Okay. And connect you. To there. Okay, so people can come in. We will put bus stops there, actually, I think. Uh, that's, that's a sensible thing to do. Uh, oh, that's expensive. <laughs> that's less expensive. Well, that's less expensive still. I, don't know, I wonder if... Uh, that's 96 going up there. Oh, let's spend it. Let's spend it. There, 27 or 20. Oh, oh yeah, obviously the the difference in the road pricing is largely based around how much deformation is needed of the uh, of the landscape. So let's take a view there. Okay, so let's put some bus stops down as well. Uh, I'm in the right place. Buildings. Uh, I've got these um, rural bus stops. They're a little bit of a cheat. They cost no money to place. Uh, so they're a grand less than the uh, than the real ones, the vanilla game. Uh, I'm not going to use. I use them in the outer li outlying areas. I think just just because they they look nice and uh, they save me a bit of money. But that's just a byproduct. So we'll put some up there. 
and actually if we put you there and there okay so uh, I don't think we've run I've only run the game on a few days so it's not going to give me any destination information yet is it no that's right if people the people themselves haven't worked that out much so um, what do we, because we've already played the game a little bit we are sort of familiar with some of the issues in terms of traffic congestion that we're going to hit so we want to avoid some of these sort of main roads here but I do want to link up as many of these outlying areas as I can so I can bring people into the station okay let's get you connected to there I think that will do it might be better to do it up here more exp we will see I I've got an initial loan obviously of five million but I can extend that if need be okay that's uh, Twelve. Oh, let's put the full road in. There we go. Uh, do we need any more connections here? I think we will actually. Let's. Uh, okay, that works for me. Um, we will, I think. Do that for now. That should be enough up that side of the city. Now here. Now this is where we. This main stretch of road here was our main congestion point before. Uh, so we want to create connections which avoid that. Um, that works, I think. Actually, can we? Where are we going to put our bus station? We want a bus station in the middle of the city here somewhere. Okay, we'll put that road in there. Um, let's connect these up as well. Oh, that's ex getting expensive. Don't need to be that expensive. Let's see how that does. These look like smaller roads. They are. Okay, so we've got you there. Can we connect you? Ah, we can. That's probably going to be a major problem for congestion, that point there, isn't it? So can we... Let's, let's, <coughs> oh, let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. And we'll put you in there. Okay, right. Uh, anywhere else we want to connect up? Let's connect this up to. Stay with the smaller road. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have demand from Redcliffe into the station and into Bristol. So we need to take care of that. And we're going to have. These towns here, I think, need connecting as well. I we'll want to allow people to connect into the into the train station. So our main passenger bus station. Where are we going to slip you? In? So if I put you there, Ooh, you are getting expensive. What if we put uh, 78 around there and over this side? Actually, a little bit cheaper. If I did you all along here. Now, let's do you around here, I think. There we go. do. Okay, and some bus stops. 
So we'll have some in, I want it, Redcliffe here. Yeah, I think you're getting a fair amount of the turn there. Uh, Brandon Hill. Let's take you, Hot Wells, in the center here, and Clifton. There you go. Okay, now north of the city, St. Paul's. Gonna be, I'm going to leave this area of the city just for the moment, I think, uh, and just see how traffic sort of piles piles up uh, once we get the game started. Okay, we're going to need a depot. As soon as we're going to start this side of the city, we'll put our, put our depot down here. Uh, we'll doubtless want one up, up there as well. Actually, I will want to connect these towns out here, so... Do we want to put the depot out here? That looks reasonably cheap, actually, I think. But it's cheaper there. <laughs> but that's a bit of a residential area, I think. Job done. Okay, so we're going to have. I want to line out into Brislington as well. Definitely. Uh, be nice to have a loop here in Briz. I'm not sure if that's going to be cost effective at the moment, though. Expensive. That's expensive. Uh, there's not a cheap building I can get rid of, is there? No, not really. Actually, you're not too expensive doing that. Yeah, that's a bit cheaper, I think. Okay, we'll do that. That's good. I like that. Uh, actually, we'll put our rural bus stops out here in Brislington, shall we? And uh, we will put you... There. Okay. Right, so we've got that set up. Um, also want to set up uh, a little bit of a cargo route. Which one should we use? Should we start with the simplest? This was the one all the way down here, wasn't it? Yeah, the construction materials, I think. There we go. Uh, so we had, uh, I, th I thought it was. Have I misplaced it? Ah, uh, no, right, because we've got the quarry there. We've got the construction materials plant there. And it just goes to it could go on to high bridge or we could use this one here which is the planks uh, logs to planks to tools which is one we had but again one we had before uh, yeah let's again, tools we've got there Tools up at Cleefton, so okay, yep, let's do that. So we want cargo, and it's not a train station, of course, not yet. And we just want one platform. Getting expensive just for that. Oh, 50 grand. Wow. 
don't need to be quite so close to the forest. We can go somewhere cheapish. Of course, the closer we are, the less distance our trucks, our very slow stagecoaches have to travel. So, yep, yeah. let's do that there. And in here. Where's the best place for this? This looks quite good, actually. Okay, we'll place you there. And in our tools factory. Oh, we can place you there on the main road. That's very handy. Best we'll make this one a, a two platformer to start with, I think, anyway. No, we won't. We don't need it just yet, I don't think. Oh, I should can place you there. That's good. Oh, I like that. As far away as possible from the production plant. Cool. And we'll be delivering construction material, uh, not construction material, tools into whirl here. Now, it was mentioned when we looked at this in the last, uh, in the original of the Bristol map, and it was suggested we take the planks into whirl, and then take them down to, yeah, So that means we need another another cargo truck stop here somewhere. So can I slip a little bit of a road? Oh, I can, just in there. That's sweet. Okay, and put Cargo stop in there, like that. Okay, that's splendid. Okay, so let's set this route up. So we've got planks coming from there, so they can go there. Do we want them to go there to start with? No, I think if we do it that way, I think. Yeah, uh, so this is logs. Uh, this is going to be whirl, of course. Log supply. In fact, this really needs to be two uh, terminals. least okay so the plank the so the logs are going to come in there I'm going to have them taken from there to the sawmill to be turned into planks okay yeah and they're going to be taken There, do we want to take them? So that's the planks going. So the planks could come back here or go there. No, let's 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 yeah, let's do that, I think. And then we'll have a new line. Planks to go there to the tools and the tools will come back to be dropped off here somewhere. So actually, can I put in, how much are those? Well, they're quite cheap, that's nice. Uh, unfortunately, that's a residential area there, isn't it? <laughs> so we could, 
could do is we could have them being delivered up there. Okay, and a little bit of road connecting that. Right. So, uh, line one is going to be, well, planks supply. Line two is going to be, well, uh, tool supply. Yeah, and on that one it's going to go from well branch down there, it's going to then go back to there. Yes, and that nicely enough keeps yeah, that keeps the residential area there nicely out of the bulk of the cargo traffic, the freight routes. Okay, good. So we need uh, another little depot. Uh, we can stick that up here, actually. Can we stick it up here without spending a fortune? Yeah, we can. Slip you in there. Okay. So, what do we want in here? We want stagecoaches. And we will have four on each route to start with, I think. Oh, that's three routes. That's 12 then, isn't it? Okay. One, two, three, four. You can go on the tools supply. One, two, three, four can go on the plank supply, and then the last four can go on the logs. And we'll see how that works. Okay, so our route's up here in Bristol for passengers. Uh, what have we got so far? We've got the train line, that's the only one line we've got so far. So we're going to want a route from Redcliffe to the bus station. Um, the tricky thing here is navigating the congestion, which could be a problem. Okay, let's uh, just go up there for the moment, I think. Uh, these roads will be renamed by the time you come to the next episode. Um, They'll be more in a more in the keeping with the with what Bristol roads are actually called. So this is going to be Bristol Redcliffe. Apologies for my typing again. Uh, local. Okay, we'll have a new line which goes from there to there to there I think yeah uh, so that is going to be uh, hot wells and Brandon Hill there we go Another new line from bus station to Brandon Hill and out to Clifton. Um, yeah, I think we could do with another bit of road in there, I think might help. So Bristol, Clifton. It's not really local, but actually Clifton and Brandon Hill. Okay. And finally, from the bus station to the train station. And well, that connects them all up. Okay. Bus station.
connection. Connect. Right. So we have got uh, one, two, three, four lines. Uh, that's a fairly short one. So we'll have four on those two. Four, sorry, four on those three, two on that one. See how we do. Uh, so that's um, 12, 14, isn't it, I suppose? 14. Okay, we'll buy you. Let's get the game running, shall we? So four, you can go on the Clifton route. One, two, three, four. You can go on the Hot Wheels route. And you can go on, actually we'll put three on each of these. So you can go on the Connect. And you three can go on the red cliff. Okay. And what we'll also do, we will put in a route there, but we're going to leave that for the moment. Let's just see how the traffic's building up. Actually, what I'm thinking I might want to do, yeah, is build in Another, another exit from there. So we'll put that in there. Oh, uh, I'm not sure I've got room <laughs> to put a little bit of street in there. Well, I can. That will do. Can I then connect you to that? I can. That's excellent. Does that change the lines at all? A little bit actually. Okay. Alright, congestion hasn't built up yet. Uh, did I, I haven't bought the train yet, have I? Okay, so this is all the locos we've got now here from the mod. So the basic one uh, that came with the game, the vanilla one, is the D3, D13. Um, all these others are that much more expensive. They go faster. They cost a lot more to run. I think at the moment I'm still going to go cost effective. Now looking at these, the one I found which was, so the D13 there is 25 miles an hour, 66.20 power and tractive effort, but there's a long boiler here, which goes a bit faster and is a bit more powerful. So I like that one and the pricing is, isn't that much more significant, so we'll do that. In terms of the wagons, uh, we will stick, no, I keep doing this wrong, uh, that's it, we'll stick three on there to start with, but I will upgrade that fairly quickly to, uh, to four. What have I got the red exclamation there? We'll find that in a minute. And, uh, I've done it again, too many trains. Go. And you're going on. That's it. So what's this here for? Stations report. Why? What's the problem? What is the problem? Have I been using what? Passengers cannot use cargo. Oh, I've been using the wrong... Oh, you plank. Right, let's correct all that in the vehicle manager. Okay, so having created all sorts of Transport People 2 videos, I have <laughs> embarrassed myself no end by not only purchasing uh, cargo coaches for passenger use, I then replaced them all with nothing. So we just need... Uh, honestly... Right, it's getting late in the day, that must be the reason why. So, stagecoaches for passengers. Excellent. So, we want, how do we have? We have 14 of those, was it? Something like that? Maybe. Let's try it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Went on. 
the Clifton route. One, two, three, four. Went on the Hot Wheels route. One, two, three. Went on the Connect route. And the final three went on the Redcliffe route. Right, excellent. Okay, so we're not, uh, we are starting to see traffic building up there. That's going to be an issue, perhaps. Our train has no passengers yet. How's congestion looking this side of the city? Okay. Oh, we have a passenger waiting there to go back to the bus station. Right, so that's where we are now and we're going to finish this episode here I think right um, okay thank you very much for joining me today um, this has been I get a little bit of a, a weird messy episode perhaps as I try and work out how best to sort this out and I dare say it will go wrong a bit uh, there you see the congestion building up let's give me roots in view but hopefully I'm not going to suffer too much from that congestion with these routes. Again, we'll tackle that in the next episode. We'll put the uh, north and east of Bristol into play and we'll bring in Brislington. Uh, I don't have anything on that route, do I? There's no route going out there. No, I'll set that route up before long. And, uh, and that's where we will finish it for today, I think. Uh, do we have any passengers on a train? No, but there are some waiting in Bristol Temple Meads. So let's get the train in there and leave it for that. Okay, and I'm confident, I think, that this start will be more successful. <laughs> it had better be, otherwise it's going to be beyond embarrassing uh, to admit failure twice. <laughs> but uh, So yes, thank you very much for joining me today, um, and I hope you enjoyed this little episode. If you did, it'd be great to hear from you, either by means of a like... Or, even better, there we see some of the fabulous new graphics. Uh, or even better, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, even criticisms, do drop me a note in the comments box below. It would be great to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play videos. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.